go big or go mm -hmm. home. <laughs> These are bold predictions, and we're starting with team predictions. So, Mike Kelly, I'm wondering why we just showed 30 seconds of highlights of Alexander Barkov. Connect the dots for me. The Florida Panthers are going to be your 2021-22 Stanley Cup champion. That's my bold prediction. <laughs> wow. I think the Cats are going all the way. I know they haven't won a playoff series in many, many years. 25. 10 plus years. <laughs> 20 plus years. 1996, I think. Uh, look, I think they gave Tampa Bay a pretty good run in the first round. I think they're heavy enough. Um, I, I think they're obviously skilled enough. I really like their blue line. And if Spencer Knight's the goalie, I think he can get it done. And if he's not a net in the playoffs, it's because Bobrovsky has gone back to his old self, and we know that he can get it done. So when I look at the Florida Panthers, you get Sam Reinhardt in there. Aaron Ekblad's coming back, and I think this guy could have a monster year. Mm -hmm. ton of time for Aaron Ekblad. You put those things together, and for any cup-winning team, everything has to go right. I get it. If it all goes right for Florida, I think they can do it. You know, I, I segment, I, bold or bananas? Yeah, no, I, I mean, like you know that. I like it. It's aggressive. Question marks, I think, absolutely are in net. You know, Spencer Knight, who has looked great mm -hmm. everywhere he's played up until the NHL. Can he be that good in the NHL? Can Bobrovsky be that good? Uh, I think that will definitely be part of it. The other part that would concern me with this pick is that they're in a tough division. Yeah. Now, even if they finish high, it's, it's Tampa, it's Boston, it's Toronto. It's like those, there's going to be no easy path to get to the Stanley Cup Finals. So they'll earn their way there if they're able to get there. Not bad, though, Mike. My bull prediction, which would have seen ludicrous five years ago, but maybe not so much now after Vegas, is... The Seattle Kraken yep. will finish second in the Pacific Division and get home ice in the first round of their first year. And I think this for two reasons. One, the division. Mm -hmm. I mean, the California teams are all in various stages of rebuild. Uh, I think L.A. might be okay. But, you know, and the Canadian teams out west all have question marks and holes. And I think Seattle great that this is the analytics show are an analytically driven team a lot of their choices a lot of their personnel and i think a lot of their strategy will be driven by analytics and over the course of 82 games with the personnel they have i think they'll be able to devise a system a game plan that will keep them in a game every single night there'll be no easy games their good expected goals are going to be based off of being good defensively as opposed to trying to outscore teams. They don't have that kind of talent. But with the goaltending they have, the defense they have, the like, I, I think they're going to be tough to play against. And in that division, my bold prediction, not quite as bold as Mike's, is that Seattle gets home ice mm. in their first year. So Vegas, Seattle? Oh. Vegas, yeah, Vegas is going to win that division okay. for sure. But I got sure. Seattle coming second. All right. I like it. Pretty bold. Uh, bold player predictions. Mike Johnson, I'll start with you on this one. Where are you going? All right. This is going... Old school, maybe from Back to the Future. Tyler Sagan, who's had a tough run health-wise, performance-wise, only played a couple few games last year, yeah. is going to score 30-plus goals again. He's done it several times throughout his career. Just a few years ago, he was 40, then 33, then, then he's worked his way down as he's not been healthy. So I think you look at his numbers and how they've dipped the last couple of years. You look at his individual scoring chances and expected goals per minute play last year doesn't even count because he barely played but the year prior it did go down but he was fighting his hip for a couple years he's had surgery he's had a long time off he is healthy full summer training and i think dallas who have been a weird team where they create a lot but don't score a lot i think they have enough talent around them now that can finish and create and find different ways to score tyler say again Back to 30-plus goals once again. I like it. Dallas likes it as well. Uh, I'm very curious here, based on your team <laughs> bold prediction, where you're going, Mike Kelly, on players. Well, the producers told me this is bold predictions, not lukewarm predictions. Oh, so oh, I'm going oh. bold again, J-Mo. All right. Fighting words. Okay. Kale McCarr, McCarr is going to win the Hart Trophy. That's bold. The, and yeah. look, I... He plays in Colorado. He's on an elite team. They got a great power play. He was a point-of-game defenseman last year. If he was healthy the whole time, he probably would have won the Norris. If he plays 80 games this year, who's to say he can't score 85, 90, 90-plus 90 points? And if Connor McDavid, you know, levels out a little bit, doesn't blow everyone out of the water, um, the guy that scores the most points in the league every year doesn't always win the Hart Trophy. So I think if... Gail McCarr goes bananas this year and scores 85, 90 points as a real dominant year. He should at least be in the mix potentially, but nobody's done it since Pronger and Bobby Orr. So if Kale McCarr does it, and I called it, that, my friends, is a bold prediction. <laughs> that, that is, is bold. spicy hot take. I always say this. The problem is not that he won't deserve it, and he's probably going to win the Norris next year. Mm -hmm. I give you that. He's going to split votes because he's on too good of a team. 
He won't take Nathan McKinnon will take the Colorado vote away from Kale McCarr. If they're both healthy, McKinnon gets 40, 65 for 105. They both will cut each other and their candidacy apart. So I don't I, I like it. And it's possible that he I mean, he is he's in the conversation with Victor Hedman as the best defenseman in the world already. Like he's yeah. right mm -hmm. there. One, two, whatever it may be. And it's not just because he plays for Colorado and he plays other good players. He's that good. And he's so young and maybe possibly even getting better. It's just, you saw it. It's happened, what, twice in the last 50 years. Yeah, and the other guy, his picture wasn't even in color. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> and, and we know how awards can sometimes turn into lifetime achievement awards. Yeah. And Nate McKinnon's been close. So if he has a great year and Colorado wins the President's Trophy, I could see... You know, it will be difficult for him to do it, no matter how much he deserves it.